My name is Yeoman Warden Joe David. I'm the town crier of Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London. I was a former beef eater. And then when I retired in 1995 from the Tower of London, when I arrived in Hinckley to live, then I was getting phone calls from various mayors and mayoresses uh, asking if I'd like to be their town crier. And I finished up as town crier of Hinckley and Bosworth, Oakby and Wixton, Blaby Districts, and the Tower of London. So, there you have it. <laughs> I'm retired now, but unfortunately, uh, nobody seems to have appointed a uh, town crier in my place, so I keep having to do these odd little jobs all the time. Uh, I have several of these uniforms. I just presented one to the museum at Hinckley and Buzzard. Completely tricolor. Yeah. They're, they're quite clearly the, the original uniforms that, that, that I'm looking at. And, and, I, and I'm lo am I looking at a, a Leicestershire town crier's uniform? No, or? what you're looking at is a town crier of the town of London. That's the uniform. <clears throat> when I was appointed town crier of the town of London, which was in 1993, um, when the constable of the tower, who was a field marshal, pointed me. And I said, what about livery then, sir? Do I wear my blue undress uniform or my state uniform? He said, no, young man, you make your own. <laughs> so I, my wife and I got together and we decided we'd use the colours of the state uniform, which is crimson and gold piping with a little bit of white and a little bit of... So the history of town cries is that they made their own uniforms? Most of them do, but most of them, some of them are very lucky. You know, like town crier and Blackpool, places like that. Uh, they're professionals, so they get a professional uniform. And, and as a member of the Tower of London, that, that, would that not have been a professional position for you to be, become a town crier? Oh yes, indeed, yeah, but I had to make my own, buy the material, and my wife is pretty good with a needle and cotton. She made my first. Uniform, which is now in the museum. That's staggering. So, so now you, you, you're a volunteer. Tonight. Oh yes, all, all keeping charity. a tradition going that we all love to see. Oh, I do. Yes. Really yeah, everything I do now is all charity. Nothing else. Is charity. Mm. Yeah. God save the Queen. Well,